Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Meaty69, and we are back with another video. Um, this time, it is the FV215B. It is a British British heavy tier 10, and it's one of the best heavies in the game. Now, this battle, I am tuning with uh, my good friend, J-Dog. And we are on Middlesburg. Uh, we've only got one medium tank uh, per team, but we do decide to go up, which is left, which is where most most of the battles uh, on this map take place. Now, if there's not so many medium tanks, you would usually find town is where the heavies go. But the majority of our team do go left, and we have spotted the leopard. But one of our teammates decides to go to town all on his own, and he has already opened up uh, the IS IS seven. So we still push, and the leopard one now realizes he's on his own, and he makes a dash for it. Uh, he end up having a really really good battle. Uh, this leopard one. And I, I praise him for, for his battle he had. He realised he was on his own, made a run for it. He was against six tanks and he, he got out full health without taking any damage. Now, at this point, our VK4502B, that was all on his own, uh, had seven enemies against him. Uh, and he didn't last very long. Now, this is where, on this map, people make mistakes they usually go up and if there's no tanks up they usually go back down now what we usually would recommend or what i would recommend is just stay up for a little bit you don't have to stay up for long but it's the same as the enemy so we would go up and then make our way back down through their spawn and nine times out of ten it's the same with the enemy. They go through town and go all the way around to our spawn. And if we're waiting at the top, we we can counter that. So as you see there, we've got the I-7 and the, the E-100. The E-100 is pretty much, well, he, he is now dead. And the I-7, I've took a couple of shots on him, and he's now on 674 HP. You know when you've got to move. Because that's when they start capping. Now this IS-7, he's just gone out of sight. So I'm trying to... I thought he was going to cross. But he wasn't crossing. So I take attention to the T-30. As I take attention to the T-30, that's when the IS-7 moves across. So he does get one shot into him. So he, he is now down to a one shot. We have got two tanks down. Uh, one tank down to the enemy. So they are in the lead at the minute. And they have got... 65 cap points j dog's just taken out the the is7 uh enemy is on now on 70 cap points and this is where we need to make our move so me and johnny make our move down uh, we both shoot the object 704 we clear the cap and now we just focus fire so he's shooting the amx so i decide to shoot the amx we put him down to a one shot and we we take him out so it's now three against four we now both go and focus on the object 704 uh, i take a look back see the t30 was a one shot so i decided to take him out first because he has got a very nasty gun we take one shot on the object and then johnny comes and steals the kill thank you very much johnny now all good so it's now three against two so We've got the IS-7 and we've got that Leopard 1 that at the beginning of the game was on his own against six of us. And he's still only been shot uh, once, I think, maybe from the E-100, I'm not sure. So we do take out the IS-7. The Leopard 1 is circling our E-100. Uh, unfortunately, I get there a bit too late to help the, to help the E-100. And he does finish him off. So... We do take another shot on the on the on the leopard, Bread Pit. Great name, Bread Pit. Uh, but he 
unfortunately, I've got a quite a nice fast tank. So he's he's too he can't circle the building before I can get around. So he does get me down to 782 HP, but we do take him out for my fourth kill. And that's what I'm saying about Johnny still in the still in the kill for the object 704. Would have put me on four, five kills, but nevertheless, we have a nice battle. We do finish on 5k damage and it was a first class. And that leopard one also finishes on 5.2k damage. So a lovely battle from the leopard. Uh, hands up to him, he had a really good battle. Moving on to our second battle. I am not in a platoon and this was filmed, this was recorded uh, a little while ago because I was still in Phoenix Clan, but it was quite a nice battle. Uh, unfortunately, it is supremacy, which because it's supremacy, does cost me a little bit of damage and a kill. Not not much damage because uh, maybe a one shot, but it does cost me a kill. So we do go left. Uh, we would usually go right, but we haven't got any mediums, and the enemy have got three. So on this map, I would prefer to go left with all heavies because the cap B and the cap C. Uh, are quite away from cap A so we I am capping the cap B uh, we are also capping cap C and with the enemy with three mediums they haven't even started capping A yet they've just started now so by that time we've already capped cap B and we've now capped C so we do make our way around uh, we are spotted uh, I don't want to go too far up because the team might all be at uh, at the caves. So we do go all the way around. I have got my team behind me. And we, we, we go around by the spawn. And as we go around by the spawn, we open up a few enemy. We, we've got a T-54 who is AFK. Unfortunately, my team are behind me. And they are all taking shots at him as well. So I do only manage to get one shot. Now, the enemy have now retaken our cap, B, so they are now in the middle. So it is an IS-7, great armor. Um, this tank, it's, as I said before, it is one of the best uh, heavies in the game, in my view. The IS-7 IS obviously is, is an amazing tank with the armor. This hasn't got great armor. It's got trollish armor. It can bounce shots, but the gun is fantastic. The DPM is fantastic. And the speed is, for heavy, fantastic. So it is overall a very, very tough, tough tank. Very, very good tank. And it's just, how can I say? It's the last update. There was actually an issue with this tank where the, the the cupola on top was zero armor. So it could be HE'd or heshed or by anything and it would pen and it would do a lot of damage. Now that has been fixed. So I, I didn't play this tank while that that uh, hatch was, was broken. I didn't play it at all. So, and this, I've, believe was before this battle here was before way before that update so we've now taken out uh, the waffle so it is at four against three and the cap points the enemy are winning on cap points but we are catching up very very quickly now this is we've got the e100 he is full health now side scraping it's amazing the depression is is very good and look at that, the e the 100 is all red. So aim at the tracks. People will see that and usually switch to APCR straight away. If you go for the tracks, it's the same with the IS-7. Go for the front track wheel and you will pen and you will, you will track him. I had to switch to APCR there because my gun depression, I could not get to his tracks. And the accuracy on this is very, very good as well. And I penned that. Uh, APCR shot. Again, I don't know what actually what he's doing. He did not want to know me at all. He wanted to cap the base, but
but it was too late for him. Uh, there was two tanks left alive, both for one shot, but we don't manage to kill them. But we do finish on 5.1k damage. We make 121,000 credits with a mission. And we do get 1300 XP. So not enough for an ace, but overall a very, very good battle. A very nice tank. If you haven't got this tank, I will would recommend this tank. It's completely different to the IS-7 E100s, but it's amazingly fun to play. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.